IFL TV in association with Matkins, Jim Mark Bayer, and the Copper Boxing Stratford today for the Frank Warren Show with me. 6 and 0 fire knockouts. Uh, it's down in the yard. Mate, that KO. That's like one of them ones that like, it's going to go viral. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, I'm just happy with the victory. It's when I, f you know, I thank God, man. I thank my team, I thank everyone. This training camp for me was like, it was long. I fought on the 25th of March, and then I was shaking to back for this one, but I don't stop training, so I felt a little bit. I'm, I'm still learning. You know, I had 12 amateur fights. Um, amateurs and pros are very different. This is my sixth professional fight. I haven't done a lot of rounds, so I'm still learning as I go. Like today, um, I knocked out the guy. And I went to check straight away if he was alright. But obviously, we meant to wait, and I'm still learning how it goes in the ring. Um, things like. I didn't know when to celebrate because I did want to know if it was okay, but I've got fans here to celebrate. People are making noise, so you know I'm still learning, but I'm glad he's alright. You got your humble in victory, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that. Um, but Nick, you refused the oxygen mask. He was on tough fight then. He's tough. <laughs> he's tough. Um, I did want to take my time in this fight. Um, I said beforehand I'm not going to go out there and throw the big shots and try and get them out there straight away. But I'm actually, I'm actually happy with the performance today. I took my time. Um, I blocked all the shots he was throwing, he didn't really, he didn't catch me with, I don't think, any shots. Um, all the shots he did for, I caught them, so I was happy with the performance. Like, I finally got an opponent that actually got to throw some punches at me as well, so that's a bit of a difference. Well, was it? Well, you said yesterday that he looked tough, I think mm. like he just come out of jail. <laughs> but no, he, 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 he's, a po he's got a campmate as well, that yeah. Tony Banjoli, and he was tough. So they're not just like knockover jobs that they're bringing mm. over now, they're proper yeah. going for it. Yeah, it's, it's about experience at the end of the day. Um, there's always going to be critics, there's going to be even supporters that are like, oh yeah, put him in with someone a bit better, or put him in with someone that's going to push him and things like that. But it's about taking gradual steps. I believe today he was a step up. Um, you know, I just got to take my time. As I said, 12 amateur fights, no ring experience, I didn't do no cage fighting or any kickboxing before that. I just take my job very seriously. So I'm um, I'm black, I'm progressing. I just want to keep progressing. I'm not going to say no names, but there was someone ringside who's high up in the boxing world, let's say, and he tipped you as the best fighter that Frank Warren could ever have or ever had. Who was that? Who was that? I'm not saying no names. Okay. But he's, 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 he just put you above Joe Calzaghi. Oh so yeah. You got big old Welsh boots to fill there. That's 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 a um, that's a big statement. You know, my, my aspirations and my goals are to be better than them guys or on that level. You know. Um, it don't come easy. Everyone knows boxing is one of the, I say, the hardest sport in the world um, in terms of being disciplined, um, the training, everything, performing in the ring. Because you're not going out there and playing football. I love football, but um, it's, I play football. It's different. You're not going there. You yeah. played football? Yeah, I used to play football, yeah. Oh, I used to play striker, bully. You didn't want to move out of the 50 50s. <laughs> yeah, so um, even things like athletics, I've done athletics, you know, nothing compares to boxing. It's completely different. Today was my first um, televised show. I loved it, like the camera being in your face and all that, everything. I loved it. I actually wanted to stay in the ring a bit longer. <laughs> you should have time, time to get up and carry on, get someone else in there. <laughs> but uh, no, as Alfie Warren said a minute ago, it was going to be a nightmare to get you matched. Uh, the same with O'Hara. When it comes to get belts and titles, you've got to be in a certain position. Yeah. If you're not mandatory, they haven't got to fight you. Yeah, yeah. And people are not going to want to fight if you're doing things like that. So how, how hard do you think it would be to match you up? Um, that's, not my, that's not really my job. Uh, my job is to just, you know, I'm not going to start taking it easy on people to start saying oh, I need fights because I've done that in the amateurs and I don't know if too many people know but I have 12 amateurs, um, 11 wins and as they say one loss but you know I, I did, I beat up the guy, I know when I beat someone up, um, I beat up the guy, my face was how it is now, the guy's face was bruised, everything, I almost stopped him but because I got, got him to the point where I was going to stop him and kind of like backed off, I got told afterwards that amateur judges don't really like that because they feel like you're, I don't know, taking a mick or whatever but and that's why you left the amateurs? Since then, no, since, since that fight, that was my second fight, I stopped everyone. And it was just like, it was more of a determination for me, it was more of, I was more hungry to, I didn't like that feeling of getting, not only getting robbed, but even that feeling of saying, yeah, you lost. I hated that feeling, so it just pushed me even more. Well, you never got that feeling tonight because obviously... No, good night tonight. <laughs> you, you went good night as well, it's disgusting. <laughs> Everyone's going to see it later anyway if they didn't see it on TV. Yeah. But I'm sure it'll be on your Instagram, isn't it? Yeah. 100%. Well, uh, Anthony, congratulations, great performance. Thank you, thank you. Um, Keep doing what you're doing, I'm sure I'll catch up with you soon. Uh, thank you very much for your time on TV. Thank you.